Hey yo, what's up everybody, Holmes here, and we're back with some more Bloodborne Arcane Builder. And today, I'm gonna we're gonna be taking on the witch's area first before doing the DLC. Actually, we're gonna get some more level ups before doing the DLC. Uh, but I do want to show off what I did from the previous episode because I know some of you guys are confused. Like, what the heck? How am I already fighting Ludwig? Uh, so what I did was I was just finally grab up some um, upgrade stones and then get my tinnitus up because it is leveled up right now so it's plus six so what I did is I grabbed the, this item right here because it's a uh, twin bloodstone shard and what we had before with the regular bloodstone shards or my weapon was already upgraded so it was like already plus three at that point so I just needed a few more bloodstone or twin bloodstone shards in order to uh, get the upgrades so this is why I'm not taking on the DLC right now because you see the damage we did to, we dealt to this hunter yeah it was like a joke you have to like pretty much just spam the shit out of your regular attackers my parrying damage suck ass so that's the whole deal with that um get some blood gems from these guys if you want so the blood gems I have right now the first and the third one it's the ones you can get for free and then the middle one was from um, a beast that the hunter killed so i grabbed all that item and then right here there's gonna be a dog they hit at hard as well you grab up this item that's also a twin bloodstone shard and then you kind of run around here So once you get to that part, you can drop down here and then you can grab up another oh shit. Oh you can grab up that bloodstone shot. It looks like I gotta come down here because the freaking dog. And then once you do that. Once I did that, I just basically ran towards Ludwig without like grabbing anything else, without fighting anything else. I think maybe I fought one or two enemies just to kind of clear the way. And then unlock the lamp there. That was it. But once we properly take on this DLC area, I'll return to this point and take on everything. Uh, but right now we need more HP and we need to unlock the runes and get better runes and more stamina. Because right, um, we can do uh, decent damage to Ludwig, but the thing is, we like once he hits us, we're fucked. You know, one to two shot us, so it's pretty insane. And it's either you do a flawless run or you'll suffer. <laughs> Which, in my case, I ended up suffering because I just got fucked up. Uh, wow, this gym is a lot better. Let's go with that. And that's one of the new new gyms we just got from uh. From those uh it's either the hunter or the beast that gave us that one so you can farm the gems if you want but i'm not really keen on that so forget about that uh we just got lucky with the drop that's all so we're gonna do the witch's area and this is gonna be kind of a pain because first we're doing this nighttime so there's gonna be like random summons and it's not really random it's kind of scripted it's just that i forgot about that <laughs> while taking this on so there's gonna be summons uh, yeah I think usually I would do this in the morning or in the evening when the sun's still up but my dumbass thought hey you know take out little wakers before doing all this shit So you should one shot. Yep. All oh, that base attack should one shot. Fucker. Yeah, be careful not to get hit by those. Oh, am I gonna get frenzy? Don't frenzy me. Okay. <laughs> Cause if it gets if that frenzy hits, that means uh, we're gonna lose a chunk of our health. It's like what happened when the um, amygdala grabbed us to port us to the DLC area. Uh, I think that was like automatic frenzy. So you get you take the damage 
And if like you don't have the health to survive it, it'll just kill you. It's really nasty, the whole frenzy bullshit. So here is the forest where the witches are. Well, this is not it yet. There's still uh, a bit to go before we can get there. Sniper. Let's take out the snipers from far away first. This guy has a pet dog. Uh, where's the creature thing? Oh, it's okay. Totally. 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 And I do want to have my pebbles. I guess that'll kind of work. Cause there's like a group of uh freaking snipers chilling. Dang. They do have a dog, so I'm a little bit worried. There's one right there. Well, it's not the dog, this is just a... Oh, shit. Blew the barrel on me. Didn't think he was gonna land a hit on the barrel. Thought they got shitty aim. So yeah, I don't know if you want to take on the snipers. There's a whole lot of them. I guess what we can do is just kind of like bait them around. It's like the safer way, I suppose. They don't have much health, but it's just that if you get tapped, it take you take a lot of damage. And also, if you get stun locked, you're kind of screwed. So that's like my main concern about fighting all these damn snipers. If you're just like one hit, it's fine. You know? But if you get like barraged by hits like one after another like <laughs> you're fucked anyways bone mirror ash this is very good we're gonna save this for Ludwig just that I'm so used to taking him down with just like pure physical damage instead of arcane is the tenitrous it it's strong when it's in arcane form but once the arcane runs out it does like the damage is crap Okay, that was weird. I thought I had him when he was jumping over. Bloodstone shards. Later on, we can buy um, we can buy regular bloodstone shards and twin bloodstone shards. So, I'm planning to get through the game a little bit more before we do the DLC. Cause I don't want to suffer. And here is um where the witches are. How about channeling? Light the lamp. Um I don't know why there is a little lantern here. Anyways, let us proceed with 
These guys are freaky looking. I don't know if you guys played Resident Evil 4, but this is what it reminds me of, like this area. <laughs> Resident Evil 4. This is oh shit. Fucker. Should I have taken an upgrade? I don't even know. <laughs> I think, I believe if you like come here earlier, that NPC will have something to say. This is a shortcut for later on, so it's not accessible right now. But yeah, look at this. Isn't this like Resident Evil 4? <laughs> when you first start like in the whole village area? Because that's the feeling it's giving me. That Resident Evil 4 feeling. Got the whole guillotine axe going on here. Bloodshot eyeball. Those are our chalice dungeon items. Wait, what? God damn it. I thought I, I, thought I stun locked him. Okay, round two. <laughs> I was so confused. When I hit him, I thought he was staggered. And then, like, he started hitting me. And I'm like, okay, the second hit will stagger him. But no. Alright, fucking Resident Evil 4 area. Damn it. Let's kind of speed kill these assholes. Make sure you don't get fried up by this porch lady over here. Get back to our position real quick. Alright, we're back. With that one extra blood vial. Hey, look at She has my. Alright, you fucker. There we go. And then I think that's a firebomb, bitch, so back up. This stupid dog. Get your ass over here. Alright, I took the damage, then rally any HP back. That makes sense. Oh no! Crazy itch with the fire spear. Yep, that one has Molotov. I said fireball. I meant Molotov. Oh, this one has a hammer. Getting ballsy. No blood vials, really. Alright. Next up, we're gonna get a big, big dude. Oh, that, does, that does decent damage. Thanks for the blood bio. Twin bloodstone shards. Ouch. No pay for that one. Don't worry. I'm trying to like keep my health top off here, but everywhere I go, I keep getting whacked. Um, that is the main area. Cannot open the gate. And there's um, those Grim Reaper axe dudes. So once we clear this area, we'll be fine. And then I already apologize for uh, the trap. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, no boy. <laughs> <laughs> that was supposed to land. Anyways, I apologize for the traffic noises. Recording this one at 12, if I already said that, I don't remember. I'm gonna watch out for damn crows. Fucking crows. 
Oh, not this bullshit again. Basically, just did that all the way in Aston. Oh my god. Oh shit, got stuck. Okay. Feel love. What is that thing? Hit that in chase? Oh, it also got stuff. Damn it, my lock on went crazy. Yo, dude, relax. I'm just trying to kill you. Alright, so this guy just made me use up five blood vials. So there is a reason why I didn't take on this area at night. Those summons, they're not around if you take them on before Amelia. But that just slipped my mind. All I had in my in my mind was uh fucking the the moonlight blade. That's all I was after. So this took us back down. That uh little window that we can't well even if you come here in the morning, it's just kinda like you can talk to them, but they'll shoot you away, so Basically, there's, a, there's really nothing there. No, Grandma. I don't want your... Whatever you're selling. More bone marrow ash. This is going to be very useful. Big dude here. There's a village inside. Come on, come on. dead no he is now molotov this all right I'm getting our I'm getting our shit back together now so that's good um I'm trying to remember if there's an ambush oh, okay dongs or just a dong Oh wait. Damn it. There we go. I forgot I can do this. To light up the area. <laughs> I was like, it's so damn dark. But yeah. And kind of retrace your step back here so you end up on the second floor hey none of that just to get the madman's knowledge and get a nice little view of the rocks what is that hogwarts anyways uh grab up the silver bullets this guy dropped and I'm surprised I ran right back through those beams the way I did just now. Oh wait, he's gonna go is he gonna go nuts? Oh what the fuck it does the camera is not locking on. Oh Jesus. There we go. I mean it's all part of the plan, you know. Does it not lock onto those guys? I swear it should have. Bloodshot eyeball. I should just parry him. I don't know what I was thinking. I talk all this shit about parrying enemies, but I'm not doing it. Like, oh shit, give me my mullet. Give me my mullet. You.
fuck? Don't hit me. I just wanted you to come over here so I can hit you. Okay. What do you got? What do you got? Why do I keep looking back? Just want to make sure nothing's following me. Can I make him run into the fire? Oh shit, I'm stuck in the corner. Now. <laughs> My plan was like, I wonder if they're dumb enough to run into the fire and then like, I freaking got st Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, and this run is when like, I struggle through. I'm getting hit by all this bullshit that's not supposed to be hitting me. Like that. Okay, once we go down, there's gonna be those big dudes that we'll have to deal with. Uh, Blood Vial, thank you very much. I'm just gonna top off right now, just in case, because we don't have much health, and that's like gonna be my next focus. Just to get a little bit more health. I mean, this is an arcane build, so I don't wanna be fucking around too much with other stats. Until we really get our arcane down. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Damn it. Alright, I got the parry. Planning, like... <laughs> I wanted to backstab that guy, but he just patrolled away, so... Alright, forget it. Ain't got the time to just sit here until he finishes his entire patrol route. Oh, deal with him. Okay, he's coming back. Because there are dogs, like, over there, so I don't want to, like, rush in and get swarmed. Because that seemed to be the theme of, uh, today's run. Just to get swarmed. Get whacked from the back. Get killed by some weird soot monster. Those ragdog. I thought the other guy was getting back up for a second. Oh fuck! Oh no! There we go. Too bad, like your hunter uses his hand to like do the whole visceral attack. That would be cool if you can use your weapon. So like, you know, if you have like effects on your weapon, it'll actually apply, but right now it just doesn't. There's a Molotov bitch. And a whole lot of dogs that just run back. the best way because they kind of have to like maneuver back into the freaking uh, or into this little area and just whack them especially when our weapons in arcane form we can just one shot so that's how you deal with those the whole pack of wolves um Try to get this wolf to come over. Because that is a Molotov bitch. You can't throw that point though. Ouch. Oh wow. I'll prove you wrong. Alright.
You gotta be careful grabbing this. Otherwise you'll fall right off. <laughs> and you can get Kane Hurst right here, but we don't have the invitation right now with us. So, what the fuck is the thing? Yeah, like if you come over, I think it's right here. Uh, if you have the invitation, a cutscene will play. But since we don't have the invitation, nothing's happening. So, yeah, we'll get the invitation later. And then we'll come back. And upon doing... I think once we defeat, like, Rom, we'll be, we'll be good to go with the whole... Um, DLC area. At least that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, finish this guy off before the witches come down or the villagers. And the other one just like did a whole Jackie Chan leap to the side. Right, the witches itself is not like too tough, so it's kind of like a gimmick fight. It's a lot, they do a lot of teleporting. And you're just gonna have to kind of kill them with the whole pinpointing where they teleport to and then just go whack them. And that's basically it for those guys. I mean, for those witches, for those girls, women, old ladies. Uh, that's yeah, once you go down there, it looks like there's like a hidden wall here, but there isn't. The boss fight happens when you get in, so. That's going to happen in the next episode. So I thank you all so very much for watching. And uh, hopefully this video has cleared up on what happened at episode 11.5. That's why I titled it that way. Because um, nothing really happened except we just got a few upgrade stones. And we upgraded our weapon. So our next upgrade is going to uh, going to require... What do you call it? Uh, bloodstone chunks instead of bloodstone shards. So... Yeah, uh, I might switch weapons once, like, to deal with Ludwig. Maybe we'll see how it goes because the whole it has to be in arcane mode to fuck him up. It's I don't know. It's kind of stressful, so we'll see. God damn it, computer. Okay. Anyways, thank you all so very much for watching, and hopefully this video has been entertaining or helpful or enjoyable. And if y'all find at least one of those qualities to be in this video, then hey, stay tuned for the next one. But until next time, I'll catch y'all later. Homes. Out.